Hello everyone. The tomato industry in the U.S. is an important part of the agricultural industry, contributing both economically and nutritionally to the country. Today we will learn how farmers grow and harvest millions of tons of tomatoes. Before planting, the soil needs to be properly prepared. This involves tilling the soil to break up clumps and incorporating organic matter or fertilizer to provide needed nutrients to the plants. Tomatoes prefer fertile, well-drained soil with a pH of 6.0 to 6.8. Sandy or loamy soils are ideal. Tomatoes need steady moisture, especially during the fruiting stage. Provide 1 to 2 inches of water per week, making sure the soil remains evenly moist but not waterlogged. During soil preparation, soaker hoses are installed to deliver water directly to the root zone and reduce the risk of foliar diseases. After completing the land preparation process, the seedlings in the grass garden will be transferred here for planting. In most parts of the United States, this usually occurs in the spring. Proper spacing between tomato plants is essential for good airflow, which can help prevent disease. Typically, tomato plants are planted 1836 inches apart in rows with 3 to 5 feet between rows. Once transplanted, tomatoes require regular care throughout the growing season. Tomatoes are harvested in mid to late summer, usually starting around July and lasting through September. Mechanical tomato harvesting has revolutionized commercial tomato production, making it more efficient and cost-effective. Harvesters are now equipped with integrated sorting and cleaning systems to separate ripe tomatoes from leaves, stems, and other debris as they are harvested. Processing areas in California account for 90% of U.S. production and 35% of world production. In 2018, tomato production in the U.S. reached 13 million tons. Let's enjoy watching how farmers harvest. After the stems and leaves are removed, these farmers will inspect and remove damaged tomatoes.
After harvesting, trucks will transport tomatoes straight to the factory for processing. Next, let's see how the ketchup factory is produced. Let us know what you think in the comments section of this video. Goodbye, and see you in the next video. Hello everyone, potatoes are among the most popular and adaptable vegetables consumed globally. They are available in a variety of forms, each with unique flavor and texture attributes. Despite their simplicity, potatoes take a lot of time and work to cultivate and harvest. Potato farming is a multi-stage process that includes planning, preparation of the land, harvesting and storage of the potatoes. And today let's find out how American farmers grow and harvest tons of potatoes and the potato processing process. The first stage in growing potatoes is to prepare the soil by tilling and plowing and to get rid of any pebbles or dirt clumps that might cause a potato to become deformed. Potatoes thrive in soil that is well-drained, loose, and rich in organic matter, with a slightly acidic to neutral pH, ranging from 5.0 to 7.0. Before planting with a cart full of fertilizer, add organic matter such as compost or well-rotted manure to the soil. The next stage would be to prepare the seed potatoes for planting, which is accomplished by chopping the potato into chunks. After cutting, allow the seed pieces to air dry for a day or two in a cool, dry place. This allows the cut surfaces to callus over, reducing the risk of rot when planted. Then the potato seeds are put into the bucket of the seeding cart. The best time to plant potatoes in the United States begins in early spring, usually from January to March.
plant potatoes in rows about two to three feet apart, with each seed potato planted eight to 12 inches apart in the row. This distance allows adequate air circulation and room for the plant to spread. Modern tractor-mounted potato planters are capable of planting thousands of potato seeds per hour and five to 10 acres per day. After 8 to 12 weeks, the planted potato starts to sprout roots. Next, fresh shoots emerge from the dirt and point toward the sun. When green leaves appear above ground, that's when the potatoes will start to grow. In the United States, the harvest can begin as early as August and can last until October. Before harvesting, farmers need to prune the foliage and leave the potatoes in the ground for a few more days. This helps the potato skins harden making them easier to pick without injury and better preserved. In commercial agriculture, mechanized harvesters are commonly used. These machines dig the potatoes out of the soil, separate them from the soil and vines, then load them into a trailer for transport. In 2020, potato production in the U.S. reached 20 million tons. However, the United States still must import a significant amount of potatoes each year to supplement domestic production and meet consumer demand. Most imported potatoes come from Canada, Mexico, and the Netherlands. Following harvesting, the potatoes are stored for around two weeks in a cool, dark, and well-ventilated basement to keep them from sprouting or going bad. The ideal temperature for storing potatoes is between 40 to 50 degrees Aspars. This cool temperature slows down the natural process of sprouting and helps to maintain the quality of the potatoes. The practice of curing potatoes aids in the development of a tougher skin and the healing of any small cuts or bruises that may have happened during harvest. When the potatoes are ready for processing, they are shipped to factories. Potatoes are prepared in a variety of ways, such as potato chips, french fries, hash browns, and many more. The following is the process of making potato chips. Next, let's look at the process of making french fries.
Potatoes being used to make shoelaces might sound surprising, but it's actually an innovative and sustainable approach to creating biodegradable materials. Potatoes can be processed to extract starch, which is then used as a raw material in bioplastic production. Unlike conventional plastics made from petroleum-based materials, bioplastics from potatoes are biodegradable. This means they break down naturally over time. Beyond shoelaces, potato-based bioplastics can be used in other fashion accessories and apparel, contributing to the development of eco-friendly and biodegradable alternatives in the fashion industry. How do you see this information? Please comment below to let me know. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.